Hello there. So throughout the month of October, we're going to be looking at Halloween movies. Now, we're not looking at movies that are called Halloween or uh, necessarily just horror movies, but just kind of Halloween movies I've watched or that I like. Um, I have a couple we'll look at throughout the month. So first thing we have for you, I watched on Netflix called House of Fears. And obviously, this is a horror movie. And they don't necessarily mention at any point that it's uh, taking place around Halloween, but um, usually these places are uh, around Halloween. So uh, it has an 86 minute runtime, and um, so I always kind of like these movies, you know, haunted houses or fun houses. Um, like when I go to like amusement parks and stuff, I'm never really into the rides. I like you know, like the fun houses, and I really like going to haunted houses. I haven't been to one in years because they never seem to have any around here anymore. But uh, I just, I don't know, I just always kind of enjoy them. So this one's rated by, rated, never mind. This one's directed by Ryan Little, and it's got a pretty small cast. Stars Corey English, Sandra McCoy, Michael J. Pagan, 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 no, I doubt it's Pagan, uh, Corey Seaver, Alice. Retzin, <laughs> Elliot Benjamin, and um, the the one guy he's working at this new place called the House of Fears, and he's giving all they're all high school kids too, and he's giving his friends a sneak peek the day I think the day or a couple days before it's going to open, and what it is is it's called the House of Fears, and inside they have eight or nine fears like dying. Uh, Knives, spiders, the dark, I can't remember them all, but inside there's rooms um, themed with all these, and it's kind of almost like a maze too when you go through it, and there's secret passageways for the workers, and lots of stuff like that. The rooms were, were kind of cool, they had uh, animatronics in them, and they were all decorated, and they had lights and sounds, and but... The, the thing that I didn't really like is they didn't really walk through it. They only walked through a couple of rooms and then they kind of stopped and messed around and then eventually I think they went through almost all the rooms but some of them they didn't really take a lot of uh, time in them. Um, the acting was all okay. Um, I thought everyone did a pretty good job in this movie. Um, there's kind of like a lot of romances going on obviously they're teenagers and they just happen to be paired up into twos and so you know, there's some people already dating, some people trying to get with the other people. You know, you know what to expect, I think, there. Um, so, I don't know. I don't want to give away too much. Um, you, when you see the beginning, there's this little statue that kind of seems to possess uh, people or causes people to do stuff. And eventually, you know, stuff starts happening and they all are trying to get out, but they can't seem to get out and they're having a lot of troubles along the way. So, I don't, it's hard to explain. There wasn't anything specific, but just, I didn't think this was as good as other movies of this kind I've seen. I don't know exactly what it was. Maybe it was just like the building actually, just I didn't find it all that interesting. And that's usually the part I really like or what, but um, I think this was a decent movie though. I don't think it was anything uh, great or terrible. I think I'm going to give this one a 2, but if you're into these movies, you know, it's probably worth checking out. Um, it's it's a decent quality movie. Uh, if you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time.